Pisces, welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird, here for you guys. All right, this is your no contact, no communication reading. We are in the end of Mercury retrograde. All right, so let's see what is going on now. Before we get started, quick announcement, Pisces. If you don't know already, we are open for personal readings, and I'm having a ball connecting to you guys. All right, so um, I've been getting a couple downloads doing the personal readings so now we're also going to give you some personal options we'll start treating the personal readings just like of a pick a pal right so if you're being more um called to the golden girls okay um the sexual tarot give you a little upgraded energy on you and your person some of you guys like that that was confirmed to me okay all right uh we got hocus pocus and we have disney all right order four available decks there will be more options available available very soon all right and so what you're going to do is get in that description box below let me know what deck you are acquiring about and which reading you're acquiring about and we'll go ahead and get you booked in if you want your runes pulled we can do that for you and pull your runes and get you a reading all right we also have a love spread that's available for you piscean okay so um i look forward to connecting with you guys i'm so excited and i will see you over there piscean all right let's go ahead and jump into the rest that we have for you on your no contact and no communication reading okay piscean let's go ahead and take a look now you know over here these are general take what is for you guys simply leave what is not they're also timeless readings they all are timeless readings so when you are seeing it receiving it you are supposed to know the energy is flowing it will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person sun moon rising venus north node energies third party sun moon and rising okay all right piscean let's go ahead and take a look all right for piscean oh what are the messages for piscean no contact no communication messages for the collective please almighty beautiful universe and holy spirits Ooh. okay there um ten of swords there's betrayal this person is clear that they betrayed you yep yeah, but they want to talk someone here wants to talk about what happened why they did this you know they want to confront you they want to talk about it this could be um them wanting to make some move towards you all right now whether they do this or not doesn't take away from the fact that they want to do it okay shit so you know there's times we want to do things we don't do them you know so um don't forget the eight of ones does represent that okay um so just know that they want to take some kind of action toward you. This could come in a form of a phone call for some of you guys, okay? Right here. Thank you. Yep. Because they're not happy, Five of Cups. They are regret whatever happened, all right? Pisces, I feel like this has been coming out for a minute for some of you guys. Yeah, the tower, because this shit didn't blow up in their face. They are. This person's depressed. The King of Cup in reverse. Their cup's in reverse. This is the king of cup. Libra and scorpion energy. This person here. Oh my God. Okay. So dolphins. Um, for you guys that don't know. Represent soulmate. This person knows um, that you are a soulmate that they betrayed. And they felt bad about it. It blew up in their face. Yep, four of pentacles. They've been holding on to your energy. They regret they would have they they regret not holding on to this to someone that wishes they would have held on to it. This person here could have not fought for this. This is someone here that wish uh, with Fox energy that they would have did something, even if it was sneaking, even if it's canavan, because they didn't expect to feel the way they felt. Whatever this betrayal was, this could be someone here that didn't really care, but the King of Cups in reverse is careless, whether they lost you or not. But they, they could have not recognized that first with the dolphin energy that you guys were soulmates. There's chatter, there's a lot of talk. Okay, with birds representing messengers here. Okay. Um, in, in this card. Uh, 
But this person also could have um, talked to three different people about the situation. Yep, about this five of cups here. Yep, page of pentacles. They want to um, talk to you. They want to make some kind of like um, grounding decisions. Um, reach out text this could be something small with the page of pentacles you could also be connected to an earthbender to soaring capricorn or a virgo here gemini energy i can't make this up the lover card and the queen of swords someone here feels like you're not going to hear them or even if they reach out that you're it could go into like one ear out the other uh yeah psychic oh scorpions represent psychic attacks Okay, so someone here is, their psyche could be a little off behind it. Someone here also felt like, someone here could have got a, um, their spirit ain't right. They could have been, uh, yep, their mental ain't right. They've been going through things mentally. They've been having small mental um, breakdowns. And that's what they didn't expect. There's also someone here that could be sending you psychic attacks, some of the attacks that you are getting if you are having like bad dreams and shit is from this person. What is this? You have the six of swords. I cannot make this shit up. But see, again, sea turtle, you're, you were protected. Sea turtles represent um, protection in the spirit realm. Your ancestors are here. So your ancestors also could have showed you some things. You could have got some downloads or even had a dream about this person. Are we going to look into that? What's this? The three of pentacles. I told you, there's three people here, honey. Oh, this person talks to you to uh, 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 other lovers. This person has um, showed your picture. This could be also someone here that has showed. Ding, ding, that's your confirmation. Um communicated something about they try to get others opinions about this is somebody here they could be sexual with these people or some sort of way or used to be but what they're doing is trying to get others opinion to see where your head could be or how your actions could be so they can play with your mind or so they can connect to you mentally and so they so you guys can make decisions someone here could want to like manipulate the energy between you and them and this is to make a connection the three of ones and they're waiting they're waiting for a time to come in look at this and give you that message the bird energy to communicate someone here also could have told this person to give you time Let's get you an ancestor message real quick. Before we do that, let's pull your angel number. 633. All right. Angel number 633 is an indication of caution and a directing and strong message. 633 is an indication of caution and a directing and strong message. This person is sending you psychic attacks. This could be someone that is sending you warnings. You could be getting um, like bad dreams of like someone attacking you, things happening to you. This person could be um, letting you know, sending you psychic attacks, telling you, you know, that they will blow some shit up quick, fast, and in a month to her. That shit hit the damn a bunt and with the queen of swords. This is woman, man will cut up. This is somebody here that it's like, even though this they this didn't happen, they're not in a good place. They don't feel that good about what happens in this situation. Does not mean doesn't change how they feel on the inside. What is shown in the outside does not reflect what's happening in the inside. In the inside, their cup is upside down, but they act like the queen of swords. This could be also someone that gets bitchy, that got bitchy ass ways they get, get from like, child, they said they mammy. Mm. So this is someone that act like they mammy. This person here, um, this so you know, and these other uh, connections or the other people they have spoken to you about, they made you look like the bad guy. See what your spirit team is saying, or what the spirit guys are saying in this reading. I 
I'm seeing lightning bugs. Lightning bugs in the spirit realm mean small things count. See, to you, it's the small things. It might not have been the big things. And see, what people don't know about small things is that they add up to a bigger thing. It might be like, oh, well, those are just small things. The bigger picture is like, yeah, that's a bigger picture. But you could have a million, like, little small things that just keep happening. And now that is bigger than a big picture. Now, if the small things is bigger than the big picture, that's a problem. See, that they just confirmed that. What's the Six of Swords? Yeah. Shed old skin and high priestess. This is someone here. Um, I told you, they manipulate, they're manipulating your energy. Um, this could all be also be you um connected with somebody or connecting with someone that all of a sudden you're getting bad dreams about that person. Um, uh, it's like I'm getting a bad vibe. I didn't have this damn dream. They they're doing that shit purposely, so you know that. What's the six of swords? Yeah, honey. Mm -mm. Now you know this is a uh, twin flame soulmate channel, so this is a soulmate. This is why they have the ability to do that. For some of you guys, this it, this is definitely your twin flame. Yep, I told you they've been giving you enlightenment. Um, on this person, yes. Oh, they protected you. Enjoy growth and reap the rewards. Set your uh, sights higher. So some of you guys have also been getting downloads. Um, also be getting dreams about this person or shit like that. Unleash the wild within. Because there was some, so your ancestors were seeing things. They just said, you know why God blocks things from your life or sends the ancestors to block things in your life? Because they heard things and they seen things that you didn't know about these people. Your ancestors know and have seen things about this person that you didn't know. That's why you're getting psychic attack from this person. Um, and that's why they are protecting you from this person. Yup. Damn! Shield me and they've shielded you this because that's the truth. They know this person's truth. Make plans and focus. Yup. And that's what they, yep. Gar oh my, I can't. Oh my God. Guardian angels. See, you are not alone. For some of you guys, um, your guardian angels were sent in by the divine. Yup. You could have went in a hermit mode. I told you, see her. They're, they, they know, they knew about this person. They knew this person's energy was bad. It smelled bad. It was rotten. Now this person's in grief and sorrow. Now somebody here want to act like they're sorry about this here. Now to be quite honest with you, if this energy didn't take place, you could have been like another victim to this person because this is a habit that this person has. Because God has been trying to show them things with this with the, with the tarot card here. We also have Capricorn energy, Aryan energy. I was just asking about the King of Cups in reverse. Now they want to slowly come together. Nine of Pentacles and a Three of Pentacles. This is someone here that now they slow. They could be slowly coming out of this energy and now they want to reconnect. Yep, I told you that was a Three of Wands. Now they want to reconnect. They're waiting to reconnect with you. This could be someone here that's like, look, I'm changing. I want to evolve. I don't want to do this no more. I don't act like that no more. I don't do shit like that no more. Oh, you're used to the old me. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands and the King of Cups. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what they want. They want to show you they move different. Yep, Two of Cups. This is someone, yeah. Okay, now for some of you guys, to be quite honest with you, uh, this person don't want to let, don't want, you got in. Then they not with your confirmation a second ago. For some of you guys, you might see a feather this weekend. You got into this person. This person don't want to let you know that they're affected by you and that you changed them. But see, the thing about this person, Piscean, when they get into this kind of energy, because you check this person, instead of them looking at things for the good, they look at them for the bad. They could, yep, that's your confirmation. They just confirmed that for me. So they could have, um, 
because you made them reflect on things or because you changed the way or made them see some things that they feel or feel some kind of way they look at you for being a bad person. They blamed you. That's why they talk to you and uh, other people instead of saying, this is my cup. I'm the king of cups in reverse, but I want to be the king of cup in the upright. This is what I need to work on. Now, for some of you guys, this is someone here. They have been doing inner work, inner healing work, but they won't tell you that. This is someone here that will still try to play a game just because, yeah, the hermit, the queen of swords, the lovers, the nine of cups, the two of swords. Yeah. Just, be, um, just because they're kind of mad, to be honest, that you got out on them. Yep, nine of swords. Now, to be quite honest with you, uh, this could be someone here that what, what kind of want to get even with you first, then build up a relationship, and not realizing that that still shit is not work because you still won't be protected from that. This is someone here that kind of is mad that you penetrated like their cup. Yeah. It's like this person wants to make up, wants to connect. They know all this shit, but they're going to hold on to a grudge. They're still not over this because, to be quite honest, you check this person. Now, they don't want to kiss your ass, so they're going to come back acting like they changed, trying to act like things are different, but really they just want to reconnect. And they, and this person, yeah, and they're mad. And this is also someone here that um, also is going to be quite honest with you. Um, They're going to do, get even with you some sort of way. They want to make you feel a certain kind of way about them because they felt a certain kind of way about you. Okay, hold on now. Wait a minute. So what are they waiting for? So now they're waiting. Show me the three of ones. Show me the three of ones. Oh. Okay. Yep. I was just going to say this. Oh my gosh. They have one specific person that might know juicy details about you and them. Yep. I told you. Knight of Swords. And here they come. Look at this. The King of Cups. Here's this go again. Now, here they come in making a quick move. Yep, eight of wands towards you. They're waiting for, a, uh, a, a, like, um, they feel like they're going to wait for a good time to do this. Now, with wands, this could be a couple months for some of you guys. Yep, the ten of cups and the two of cups before they, yep, they come next to you. Yeah. Now, to be quite honest with you, this is someone here. They want to make you feel some kind of way. For some of you guys, this could be somebody, a man or a woman that is used to women, men acting out about them, showing their ass, and they want to see if you still have feelings. So they want to see you um, act out. They're going to do something purposely to try to manipulate. They could have felt like they showed out. Maybe this happened to them in this connection. You caused this with them. So they want to see if they have the same effect on you. They're going to test it. Now for some other you guys, this is also somebody here that is like um, they want to make you feel what they felt. Even though they still want to connect. This is someone here that's really, really, really gotten depressed about this. Um, let's see. What else is going on here that we need to know? What else? Is yeah, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty. Sad news. Okay. It's success and love. I told you. This person, um, they do want your loyalty. They do, but they had it. They're, they don't want to say they, they want this shit, but they do want this shit. This is someone here also, um, they, they're going to make sure you, it's like, this person could feel like you know or you know how they feel about you, regardless of how they acted and you left anyway, or after they betrayed you. You know how certain people, like, this person could have 
expecting like you was never going to leave or you would never separate them or cut them off in, in spite of what they did but you did it and they're mad they can't let that go Um, this person comes with a bag of hurt. You could be, um, someone is pinching your heart. Now, some of you guys could be, like, having, like, health problems as well. This is this person. This person sends you psychic attacks. What's your feelings and emotions toward the collective? Oh, hold on, y'all. They are showing me this that conflict. This person wants to start shit with you. And then when you react, let's say you go off. No, but I don't give it's gonna make them feel good because they feel like you still care. They wanna know if you still care the way you used to. This could have been something you never did. You showed it sad that they never thought they was gonna see. Look at this apology in a distance. They could be coming in with an apology, but it's still a sweet betrayal. Because it's like they said, I want to hurt you. Someone here wants to punish you for doing this. Even if you were in the right. But they still want to apologize. It's like a, it's like a kiss of betrayal. What's your feelings and emotions? Ooh. It's complicated. Yep. It's going to get complicated before it gets any better. Yep. But the thing is, they do want to make it better because they're going to make you a priority. This person got a shitty way of doing this. Yep. I told you celebration. Look at this. Apology. Introvert and forgiveness. Toxicity. Now, for some of you guys, you're still going to see certain things. Someone here is going to act like things is different for you, for them, like they changed, they didn't. And once you accept this, they're going to go back to their same ways. But if you try to cut them off again, that's what they want you to do. Because they want to show they ass. They want you, they want to hurt. Like, you keep, why, like, you're never supposed, like, it's like, we got a connection no matter what I do, no matter how much I hurt you. You're never supposed to. Yeah, you're like never supposed to leave them. They just confirmed that for me. It's like you did this shit the last time. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You. It's like they're trying to do reverse psychology. That's it. Damn, it took me 30 minutes to say that shit. Do they want to make your priority? Yes, you feel this shit. They send you psychic attacks by using also reverse psychology. Um, let's get some written messages, child, because I, I, I don't, this is like, why? What's the written messages for Piscean? I'm still healing. This person has a lot of still healing to do. Look at this. I hope we can come back together and pick off where we left off. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. They know this. You reflected this on this person. It's like somebody is like, you're not perfect neither. Look at you. No relationship is perfect, but they know they was dead wrong. Dead ass, they just said. Somebody here can say dead ass. Your shit might not be it's like you know how it's like oh you was wrong for saying that okay you was wrong for doing that you shouldn't have did that now there's levels to that you might be wrong for saying things or something like that but they could have been wrong for doing something it's like nah because this is betrayal yeah i might have said something wrong i was hurt i shouldn't have said that but you betrayed me those are two different things and they know that but they want to come back. So they're going to play reverse psychology to make you look bad. Like, oh, but you did that. See, you're not perfect. You do this. You shouldn't do that. When you have a connection, you shouldn't act like that. No, 
Actually, I can. And it's, you betrayed me. It's just two different things. Yeah, I might get out my way. Yeah, I might get beside myself, use my tongue. I might do shit when I'm hurt. But the shit you do, you hurt me. It's a sense of betrayal. It leaves me in a sense of healing. It's cutthroat. It's you hit below the belt. It's like you do some the off the wall shit. You take it to the extreme. So that's what makes this different. Now it's going to take it's going to be different for all of you guys. So you know how to put it for your personal situation. They hit below the belt. Like they do shit. And it was, it, it, it's like. You might say, oh, but you know, I, I don't like that shirt. Or I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't like what you got on. I told you, you know, or something like that shirt. Like there might, like it could be something simple like that. And they will be like, yeah, and I didn't like the outfit you brought your son or your kid the other day because you make him look like a, a queer or something. It's like they take shit all the way down here. And you are like, wait a minute. And they're like, well, why would you say that to me? Well, you didn't have to, like, what did, first of all, putting my kid in anything should be untouched. Because the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles page also represents kids. Like, yeah, like this person, it's like something like that is also, here's what I'm getting. Like, they do shit. It's like, you do too. I'm not there. It's their attitude. And you made them see this about yourself. Other people might have also told them this person. Like, they might have said so, a couple things bad. They're like, yeah, but you know how you is. They didn't like that neither. So, you know that. Someone here could be from the suburbs. Now, anytime, yep, ding, ding, that's your confirmation. Anytime I see this, I know there's enough here. So, T. So, when I get a single letter, this could be like a middle name, um, a nickname, an uh, a initial and a first, middle or last name. This could be even an address. This could be a street of they work on, live on, um, or connected to in any shape, way, or form. All right. Let's see, man. And this is someone here that knows that they owe you. Oh, my God. We got soulmates and twin flames. I cannot make this shit up. You guys know this is a twin flame soulmate oh, channel. It. For some of you guys, this is your twin flame. For others of you guys, this is your soulmate. This is why they're able to send you psychic attacks. I said that. This is why they could feel like a sense of ownership of you because you're a twin flame, because you're a soulmate. You ain't never supposed to leave your twin out there. I don't know what I say, what I do, how you feel. You always connected to me. They're arrogant as hell. See, they make you want to cuss their ass out. Look at this, twin flame card. <laughs> Again, they make you want to cuss their ass out. For some of you guys, you had to show this person, I don't give a damn soulmate twin flame from the fifth ether. You're going to learn to respect me. And if I am your twin flame, your soul, um, your soulmate, then you should already have a level of respect for me. They know that. That's why they want to give you an apology. But they don't want to acknowledge just certain part about them that they deal with alone. In silent. In hermit. They just said, oh, my God. I know y'all sick of me. Soulmate. I can't make it up. Or your twin flame. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. This person fills you in the spirit they know in their heart. I can't make it up. Passion. They have a lot of passion for you. This is a twin flame that they got an ego problem, baby. And they come in to hurt you. And it's like, because they want you to feel hurt. And it's like, yes, it's hurt. Why do they want to hurt me? Because they, you can still feel from them. It doesn't matter. They pull and suck energy. It's like, it doesn't matter for hurt as long as they can harness that energy between you guys. That's, it's still a connection. So you look at it like this, and they look at it like that. That's the energy they're in now. I don't give a damn. It's still a piece of you. You might have to cuss this motherfucker out. Though. Look, they wishing on a star. Because that's what I'm hearing. Look, companionship. Wishing on a star. 
to follow you where you are. This person's praying and wishing to connect with you. Look, listen. They want you to listen. They wishing on a star to follow your ass where you are. Child announcement. They want to make some kind of, they want to talk. Vulnerability in reverse. Yep, this person don't want to open up. What else fell out here? In reverse, too. Acknowledgement. I cannot make this up. This could be someone that never acknowledged the fact that you were twin flames, that you were soulmates. Authority. This person has to, it's their sense of control. I told you, they have an attitude problem. Damn, this person, yeah, I told you, dreams. Oh my God. This person sends you a lot of low vibrational energy. This person, if they had a spiritual awakening, now a, a lot of people don't talk about the dark side of spiritual wake, awakening because it's not always good. Some people that have spiritual wakes, that's why you they're called spiritual narcissists. This could be a spiritual narcissist. You're my twin flame. You're my and soulmate. I don't. What I? You ain't never gonna leave me. I'm it just saying, so someone here talks off. like that. This is this person's attitude. Let me get up out of here because, y'all, I can feel it. Y'all already know. I'll start popping off because if this person's getting on my nerve. Oh, my beautiful universe and the Holy Spirit. Yep, Saturn, Capricorn. Capricorn be kicking this person. It's this person's, I told you. They're angry. This is somebody, they're mad. They're pissed off. Mars. Saturn has um, been beating this person's ass. Communication in reverse. This person does not like you not talking to them. You guys not talking. You put this person in their place whether you notice or not. They don't like that shit neither. Okay, can I see the energy here, please? Oh, um, conflict. Hell no. I'm telling you. Someone here, if you do end up healing with this person, it's going to start with a fight. Can you please show me the energy, please? Frustration and challenge. Yep, and this is a, this has became frustrating and a challenge to this person because you're resisting them. <laughs> some of you guys have learned lessons. And for some of you guys, twin flames and soulmates, you know we learn lessons. We come back to learn lessons. For some of you guys that know they're twins, I've opened up the fact that I'm a twin flame too. So, you know, I'm speaking from this too as experience. I will always confirm with you guys. I'm here and... um. You have taught them a lesson, but they don't, it, 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 it's not sitting well with them. And I don't know, it's like it should, but it's not. All right, what else is here? What else is here? Yeah, wrath, un 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 uncontrollable forces. Um, This person, y'all, I don't know. This person, to be honest with you, it's like if y'all connect and let's say it comes to a point where you're going to disconnect from this person again, they'll lose their goddamn mind. They might lose their self. Things could get and will get physical. Okay. What else is here? change yep mm -mm. they don't like this change um things are changing they want things to change yeah now for some of you guys you you have you uh you, you like you know twins come um back um to teach each other lessons in this cycle now some of you guys have shared many lifetimes with this person and we also have the moon card here I told you, they psychic, They send you a lot of psychic attacks. And this person is extremely upset. This could be why the ancestors, your spirit guys, your um, guardian angels are protecting you from this person now. Because they, are, they, are, they know this. All right, Piscean. Um, please be careful. When you are connected to your twin flame or your soulmate right now is the time I, I would be in public where there's a lot of people. 
where you could feel shielded. Your ancestors might give you some downloads on that and talk lightly, regardless whether you accept it or not. You might just want to approach this with caution. Pisces, and I hope this helps you out in more ways than one, baby. Don't forget to connect your energy and your frequency to your tarot reads. That's how you get your messages, baby. Like and subscribe and share and commenting and uplifting each other below are all energetic donations to the channels. I love you all. Stay dope. And I'll catch you next time you stop by. I'll share name, mom.